This is Eagle Al, and today I will be talking about the last day of training camp. Yes, this is the last day of training camp against the Colts, and unfortunately, it had to end early. Fights, fights, fights. Also, Jalen Hurts and Devontae Smith was just cooking today, but let's get straight into you it. Say, you know, and man, we're a team. You know, we ain't gonna let nobody come in our house and, and take over, but you know, we're gonna continue to work hard each and every day. We whoop their ass so. All right, so um, you heard what Kenny G said in the beginning. We, we was whooping them. We was whooping them. They felt some type of way. Fights were breaking out. You had AJ Brown getting in scuffles. Kenny G and Jason Kelsey getting in scuffles. Jason Kelsey got in a scuffle. But he immediately walked it back and took it back. Like, you know, that shouldn't have happened. My emotions got the best of me. And I'm going to go ahead and play that clip of him saying. It sustains the emotion and the level of play out there. I let my emotions get the better of me. Uh, that certainly doesn't belong out there on the field. And, uh, you know, just a little bit of shame that it, it got to that level and uh, that, that I did what I did. So uh, certainly, you know, not happy about that. I think very highly. Of the guys that were out there, in particular, 44 is there. I think you know he's a tremendous player. Um, I think all of their guys up front, and they brought a lot of intensity to the day, which made the practice intense. And um, you know, I think uh, I didn't handle things properly. All right. So as you see, you know, Jason Kelsey is like, man, I shouldn't have really let, I shouldn't have never did that, you know. But that was the cause of practice in there early. But let's get straight into the camp notes. And of course, I will have the highlights plan as I go over the camp notes today. So first, we're going to talk about the injury report. The guys that did not practice, Britton Covey, hamstring, Kyron Johnson, still pendex, Maro Jamo, still concussion, Hassan Reddick, we know he's dealing with a thumb, Nolan Smith, still with the shoulder, Greg Ward with the ankle. And Quest Watkins was actually limited today. He practiced, but he wasn't in the 11 on 11 drills or the 7 on 7 drills. But he did do a couple workouts here and there. So you see Quest Watkins as the season is approaching, he's getting healthy. All right, so let's start off what happened today in practice. As here in the first notes, Quest Watkins definitely had on his pads on for the day, but was limited. AJ Brown, one of his one on ones, just cooking. I believe the guy last name is Moore was cooking them the whole game or the whole practice, I should say. Makai Gardner, quarter INT uh, on the coach wide receiver, and he tossed the ball to the coach wide receiver. I think they actually called the flag too on the PI, if I'm not mistaken, on Makai Gardner, and he got upset. I could be wrong about that. All right, Jalen Hurts. Goes 4-5 against the Colts on the 707s. Only incompletion was because of a PI and the flag that was thrown. Had one nice throw to A.J. Brown during the 707 drills. Scott, Gainwell, and Swift got snaps with the first team offense. And first 11-on-11 drills with the Colts. Uh, it was an amazing play. So the ball was fumbled at the snap. Hurts picks it up, sets his feet, looked down the field, and find Devontae Smith for a 40 yard touchdown. Devontae Smith was just cooking today. He was cooking. Jalen was cooking. They were just feeling it today. But that's crazy. Fumble, snap, pitch it up, still keep his eyes down the field and find Devontae Smith. And we know as much as we love Jason Kelsey, he's going to fumble a couple snaps. That's that's just Jason Kelsey. It hurts my heart every time he does it. But I'm like, man, he's going to do it once or twice a season or possibly even more. Right, so Sidney Brown got some first team reps. He drilled uh, the coach tight end, forced the incompletion after a hard hit. We know Sidney Brown got a lot of backlash calling him the next weapon. Next, but the way he hit, we ain't see that in a while. We ain't see that in a while. I love Michael uh, Malcolm Jenkins in them. But the way Sidney Brown hit, it definitely gives me weapon next vibes just a little bit. All right, so Swift dropped, and this was unusual, but he did drop an easy TD being thrown from Marcus Mariota. Yes, two unusual things. Marcus Mariota, perfect pass. 
and a swift drop. He probably was expecting a bad pass. No shade to Marcus Mariota, but Swift did drop an easy one today. Marcus Mariota just had Grant Katerra open for a open TD, but instead he threw it to Deion Kane, who got drilled, which is insane. All right, Hurts with a bad overthrow. Something that was unusual today for an easy touchdown to Dallas Goddard. But he just overthrew him. Things happen in practice. Colts defensive line had a really few good reps against the Eagles offensive line. Seems like Jurgens might have gotten beaten twice. So Jurgens, you know, he got to pick it up. The season is starting. We all want to hear Jurgens getting beat. Jalen Carter, again, with the first team, we already know he's being compared to the great defensive tackle. So not surprised to hear Jalen Carter with the first team. So it was a small, you know, little, little fight at the A.J. Brown uh, court. Or I guess mossed the guy. And it seems like the coach defender didn't like it. And uh, yeah. That happened. Devontae Smith lost the DB for a 40 yard gain. So Devontae Smith missed a 40 yard gain today. Caught another one down the field. And again, Devontae Smith was cooking. He was definitely cooking. Then Devontae Smith lost the DB again. And this time it was for a touchdown about 10 yards out. Mm. And Hertz was throwing a 50 50 balls. Jordan Davis got a sack on Anthony Richardson. That's good to hear. Jordan Davis is balling. And, you know, anytime a fight start, you got to associate Dara Barnett name with it. You know, Dara Barnett hit Richardson to get the ball out of his hands. We know the quarterbacks can't be touched. So Barnett gets into a fight. Tons of Eagles run over there, including Jalen Carter, who, who had to be held back. Practice got, you know, a little... Uh, a, a little frisky, you know. It was a lot of fights today, but Derek Barnett, of course, was the one to start the first one. Eagles, Eagles ran a trick play with Kenny Gainwell as the quarterback and threw it down the field to Grant Katerra for a long, long what well, game? I will say, very long game. And Kenny G, can he be QB too? Mm, maybe, right. Kayvon Wallace got an interception, but was taken away due to a P.I. call. Nate Sirianni was not happy with that call. Uh, ran over, picked up the flag, and handed it to the ref, and then the P.I. call was take, taken away. Coach is still working to get the field clear. Looks like they might have to call practice off because of a fight. All right. So what happened was... Kenny G runs the ball. Usually when running backs don't get hit, they get like somewhat tugged a bit, but the linebacker decided to hit Kenny G. And it looked like it was twice. And Kelsey was like, I had enough of this. Bumped the linebacker, snuck him. He snuck him and it caused a massive fight. All right. So that fight was so bad. So they had to end practice. So Elliot Shore parts, summary of practice like overall eagles are just clearly the better team i don't he said he don't even think the first team offense the Colts offense had a single legit touchdown most were check downs and quarterback runs due to the pressure the eagles offense won all 11 on 11 drills mostly because Devontae smith and hurts was just way better than the defenders eagles weren't super sharp but they didn't have to be against the Colts. Just a very, very easy win. You know, LA Shore Parts keep wins and losses and joint practice for some reason. So the Eagles and his eyes are eight and two. All right. So, you know, again, training camp stats. Jalen Hurts, day 15, they won against the Indianapolis Colts. Hurts was very solid against the Colts with enough, with enough special plays sprinkled in to win the day. His best play of the day was on a bad fumble where he picked it up, completely reset, got composure, and fired a shot to Devontae Smith for a deep touchdown. Hurts and Devontae had a few nice connections with Hurts giving Devontae a chance to win 50-50 balls, and Devontae did just that. Hurts is definitely a quarterback that will give his wide receivers chances to make plays. Hurts did miss very... Very, very easy one to Dallas Goddard. Misses happen in practice, but 
It was out of character, so his stats of the day was 15 to 19. Two touchdowns, no picks. Elliot Shore Parts gave him a B plus. All right, Elliot Shore Parts actually took stats of Anthony Richardson. All right, so Anthony Richardson say I can see why the coach drafted Richardson. I was very skeptical of going into the draft, but he really has a strong arm and elite size. Excited to see what Shane Steyer does with him. That being said, he's a very much work in progress. Basically, all his passes were either short or incomplete. I don't think he attempted one over like 20 yards. Seemed like an easy day for the Eagles defense. Richardson didn't really threaten them. Defensive line definitely had their moments. Secondary didn't have to do much or worry about anything. He was 11 to 16, no touchdowns, no picks. Might have missed one or two uh, reps, all right? Also, the takeaways, the takeaways of the day. So, Devontae Smith had a huge day. Uh, the linebacker competition is probably over. It's going to be, it looked like it's going to be Dean and Cunningham with Ellis with some snaps as well. Penny got some first team reps today. Trey Sermon did not. That's not a good look for Trey Sermon. Offensive guard Cam Jurgens had a tough day. It, it happens. Coach brought the intensity after a slow start to practice. Eagles immediately matched it. A positive to see for the coaches. Feel like Sidney Brown makes a play every day now. Has been at his best in joint practice and preseason games. Great signs for the rookie. Okay. All right. So let me get my thoughts. I know that's a lot, a lot of notes, a lot of notes for the day for a short practice. I would say this, this team is almost ready. This team is almost ready. Get gearing up for the season. Um, I believe Sydney Brown should start. I like the idea of Cunningham and Dean because Cunningham is a vet who played this game at a very high level. Then having Dean paired with him, I like that idea. Then you got another young guy rotating. And I actually think we might hold three linebackers because I don't really see, less for depth purposes, I don't really see any other linebacker being held on this team. A lot of them might go to the practice squad, in my opinion. Um, What else? Jalen Hurts, Devontae Smith, and A.J. Brown, Dallas Goddard. I think the chemistry is getting stronger and stronger, stronger and stronger, man. The Patriots, that first game, will have a lot to deal with, a lot to deal with. And I think our defense going into the season is going to be very underrated, very slept on. And next thing you know, you're going to look up, you're going to like the Eagles defense. It actually looked better than last year's defense. While well, defense was just almost first in every category than when we play a good quarterback because what you call him, Jonathan Gannon is just, just can't adjust. I think Sean Desai is going to do a very good job at adjusting and having his guys play very, very well because preseason is supposed to be vanilla. I still think Shane, I'm not Shane Steyer, uh, Sean Desai called some really good plays where the players were there. Sometimes they didn't execute the hit or they didn't just make certain plays. But as far as like the play that was called against the opposing team, Sean Desai been doing a very good job. So all I can say is I can't wait for week one. I just can't wait for week one, you know. But hey, man, what do you think? How do you feel about the news today? I know it's a lot. Or maybe it's a lot for me. I know it'd be some cuts here and there, but this is Evil Al.